Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to analyze a closed process that involves combustion. Combustion is covered in chapter 13. There you learn balancing a reaction, uh, different types of reaction, theoretical reaction, complete reaction, etc. And some of the important concepts such as premixed and non-premixed reaction, where the fuel and oxidizer are either mixed beforehand or they are not allowed to mix before the reaction. We will learn how to find the state of fuel oxidizer and products and then eventually do a mass energy and entropy uh, analysis for a closed process. So let's begin by a couple of animations. Uh, this is this particular animation 13b theoretical reaction it explains what a theoretical reaction is basically there is no leftover here the reactants methane and air uh, this is obviously a non premixed reaction it's shown in this picture uh, but the, the 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 reaction remains the same the the, the balancing of the reaction do, do not change based on whether the reaction is premixed combustion is premixed or not anyways here the reaction is between methane and air. The theoretical air means there is no leftover oxygen after the end of the reaction. Also, the reaction is complete. In other words, you'll find carbon goes to carbon dioxide and hydrogen is fully oxidized to H2O. There is no OH or CO, etc. That's what makes the reaction complete. And theoretical means complete plus there is no leftover fuel or oxygen at the end of the reaction. So this is an important concept. Another important concept is, I want to just quickly brush over that, uh, is what is a lean reaction or rich reaction. These are expressed by the air-fuel ratio. So the, the theoretical air-fuel ratio, the, air, the amount of air used for every kg of air or every kilomole of air is called the air-fuel ratio. F bar is the, the you know, kilomole based, F is mass based. And if the lean reaction it, you know, the, the, the AF is actually higher and their ratio is called lambda. The ratio of excess air used, we'll use the term lambda 1.4 means 40% excess air. So maybe we'll solve a problem with 40% excess air to find the temperature after a reaction. Uh, this is, these are some examples of closed processes. This is a constant volume combustion. You're burning some fuel. Uh, this would be a constant pressure combustion, for instance, uh, where the pressure remains constant, the volume is allowed to change. A uh, practical example of that could be, say, this is a constant volume heat addition in, case of, in the case of a, a spark ignition engine. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly go over what kind of test steps we use to solve such problems. So we are talking about a closed system undergoing an unsteady process and we follow the specific branch and go to the combustion and chemical e equilibrium. Now the combustion part is covered in uh, this branch where it could be non-premixed or premixed and we'll talk about chemical equilibrium later on in another video. So in the combustion part as you can see there is premixed combustion or non-premixed combustion each of which can be handled by a PG model and PG means a number of uh, any number of perfect gases and an IG model. Uh, IG model means CP and CV are function of temperature and PG model means CP and CV are assumed const constant. Obviously for combustion a PG model is not a good idea because the temperature could be so high and the variation of CP and CV with temperature can become significant. Okay, so let us go ahead and uh, launch launch a test step, launch the uh, tested to just show the difference the distinction between the two suppose we have a non premixed combustion going on here <clears throat> and let's also launch a premixed premixed app so that i can show the difference between the two so on this window i have a, a premixed app and on this window i have a non premixed <clears throat> non-premixed app. So of course the reaction panel is the same. This is where you set up the reaction. State panel should look familiar. Uh, state panel will have obviously uh, you know the, the 
the states are kind of keyed. State one is fuel, state two is, because it's non-premixed, oxidizer, state three is uh, products. Whereas if you go to a premixed, uh, you will find, again, the reaction panel is the same. Uh, state panel will have only two states, reactants and products, because fuel and oxidizer are not separated. Okay, uh, the, another distinction is that in the process panel you'll find uh, in, in the case of non-premixed, we have to be prepared to have fuel and oxidizer states separate. So there are two beginning states and one final state, whereas in case of premixed combustion, premixed combustion, you will have one beginning state and one final state. So let's solve a premixed combustion problem. Let's make a quick problem up. Let's say we have, uh, we're burning methane. So let's set up a reaction. We say methane. Uh, there are many ways, you know, you can click the help button to see how many ways you can balance a reaction here. But let's, you know, try a very quick method. So let's say one kilomole of methane is added to this tray. This is my fuel. Fuel is uh, already composed. It's pure fuel, pure methane. We could go and select oxidizer, etc. But for quickest way of setting up a reaction, we can just say, uh, you know, it's a theoretical reaction with pure oxygen, theoretical reaction with air, or, or we can have set up reaction many different ways. Another way is that uh, we can say it is complete combustion, but not theoretical, with known excess or deficient air. Let's try that. 100% means theoretical air, that is, there is no excess air. But if I say 140%, that means lambda equals in this case 1.4 in the like in that animation with that if i click the execute button then the reaction is balanced and you will see the reaction appears in the below here and everything is done for us so we don't have to set up the reaction oxidizer has been picked up and the products it's a complete reaction and it's, it, there is excess air that's why oxygen is left so it's a little bit more complex problem than it has to be, but let's go ahead. Now suppose, obviously, in, in this case, there is about how many, 401 kg of uh, reactants, and of course, at the end of the reaction, there'll be 401 kg of products. But suppose the problem says we have only, let's say, uh, uh, you know, 10 kg of, of the reactants in, 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 in a chamber. In that case, you cannot specify that in the state panel. You'll notice that mass is kind of, uh, you know, you, there is no checkbox there, so you cannot individually specify mass. It's, it's to make sure that the mass, is, mass balance is respected. So to set up the reactant's amount, uh, we are kind of slave to the reaction here, but you can multiply the entire reaction by a constant. So 401 kg is there on the reactant side, so we can multiply the entire reaction by a, uh, you know, uh, by a factor. So we can say, okay, multiply it by one divided by, uh, suppose we have 10 kg, 10 divided by 401. And if we execute now, you will see that the reaction has changed. You multiply by a constant factor both sides. So this is our new reaction. Okay, now let's evaluate the states. We go to the state panel. State one is obviously reactant state, and state two is key to product state. So we cannot change them directly. Instead, you change them here at state one. Is let's say we have uh, some reactants in a very large tank of 10 meter cube at 300 Kelvin. Obviously, we cannot specify the pressure. Also, it will be over specification because the mass is will be mass will be picked up from the reaction panel. If I try to click here, notice I cannot. Absolute pressure cannot be added. So once we do calculate, we found that the tank must be at 69 kPa uh, because there's only this much amount of reactants there. Okay, so we have fuel and air, and the composition is shown here. Uh, oxygen, nitrogen, and methane, and their properties are tabulated and shown. For state two, uh, let's say it's with a constant volume, so the volume is not changing. And let's say we don't know the temperature. We want to find temperature. We, 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 it's adiabatic. 
tank that is there is a there's no heat transfer so we want to find the adiabatic flame temperature what is the final temperature so we go to this process panel load our state state one is our beginning state state two is ending state and this let's say there is no heat transfer it's adiabatic and if i do a calculate it finds boundary work is zero because the volume doesn't change uh, but if you go to the state panel, you'll see it has calculated the energy, specific energy, and substituted here. So a super calculate or a calculate here will produce the temperature. So the final temperature is found, as you can see, is 2287. Of course, it's for a lean combustion. For theoretical combustion, it'll be much higher. Theoretical combustion means 100% theoretical air. So in other words, for a closed, and you find all the details information about the products all kinds of properties these are partial specific properties uh, that you can use for further analysis so once you click the super calculate button by the way the entropy generation generated is reported here uh, the entropy equation is solved as you can see the closed process equation look very similar uh, for com for a reacting system as any other system the only difference here is that enthalpy is calculated with heat of formation built into each species.